Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the M247H. The M247H is an air-cooled, gas-operated weapon that fires 12.7mm high-velocity explosive rounds. It's generally used to provide suppressing fire, point-to-point -point cover fire, and predominantly, direct fire in anti-personnel roles, though it is capable of destroying light vehicles with relative ease. Due to its light weight and ease of use, it is used at most UNSC bases and high-priority sites. The M247H entered service with the UNSC as early as 2526. Trademarks are all over the place on this gun, so here's some screenshots I took. Moving on to features, the standard configuration of the M247H is affixed to a tripod turret base. The M247H is also fitted with a metal shield near the rear of the barrel, though some versions including the one mounted on the Falcon lack this feature. The ammo box is located behind the shield. The standard box contains 200 rounds, though the box says 1000 rounds and I don't believe that for one bit, so let's just go with 200 as it sounds more realistic. The firing mechanism and trigger are located at the rear and are accompanied by a couple of handles, allowing the operator to rotate it 180 degrees. Moving on to in-game stats, the cooldown speed was around 3.09 seconds while mounted on the tripod. The M247H holds 200 rounds, and the rate of fire I got was around 1,200 rounds per minute. Getting the range value proved to be a bit of a challenge because I had to let go of the turret to get the distance measurement. And also, there's no small dot in the middle for me to aim for the head so I couldn't get just an exact reading, but the estimate I did get was around 46 meters. Moving on to damage output, it takes 7 shots to break shields and 5 shots to health for a 12-shot kill. First strike! And the TTK I got was around 1.03 seconds. And that's the machine gun turret. Overall, I think it's a fun gun to use. It definitely has its use case scenarios. If there isn't any kind of explosive weapon nearby, 
and some enemy vehicles are terrorizing the map, turrets are the next best option. Though I do prefer Halo 3's machine gun turret over Halo Reaches. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share this video around. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel and let me know your thoughts on the Halo Reach's machine gun turret in the comments below. And until next time, peace.